Oh, didn't see you there. Just working on my latest project. In this video, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi Zero and a Raspberry Pi webcam to make a smart security camera system. Didn't see you there, classic. So anyway, <laughs> So with the new Raspberry Pis that have come out that are so small, uh, we can make a really small, uh, discrete security camera. So we're planning to build um, something out of MDF probably because you guys have been talking about uh, using some non-3D printed uh, hardware that's you know, more accessible. Um, so we're basically just going to be building a box and um, this is going to be pretty small. I think this is almost uh, to scale, but there will be a camera on the front and on the inside, we'll have the Raspberry Pi maybe somewhere on the bottom here, and then some sort of battery on the back or something. And then we'll have to figure out how to build some sort of uh, bracket or mount uh, to the ceiling or, or, or to the wall or something of that sort. Yep, flip it right. So we're going to make the security cam smart by uh, using OpenCV. We've used OpenCV in the past to do some facial recognition, some object detection. Um, so we're thinking maybe we could integrate that into the camera because this camera is actually pretty uh, high res. So uh, use the camera to detect motion or detect you know, maybe a person walking in front of your door. What would be cool is if you could go to you know, your browser and then just type in a URL. Um, so this is a URL in your browser. Um, you could actually run a server on your Raspberry Pi so you could see what's happening at your house in real time. The battery might be really bulky and it also might not last very long so it might be better to just plug it into the wall. If we can find a like a 5 volt or something AC adapter we can maybe uh, get some wires and I don't know feed it through the hole to plug into the Raspberry Pi and just plug this directly into the wall. So we're going to Home Depot to get some materials for this project. Um, maybe some materials for some of our other projects too, but we're thinking MDF for the body of the camera, uh, and then some bolts and some uh, butterfly, um, what are they called, butterfly nuts? Wing nuts? Wing nuts. Um, some wing nuts to uh, kind of position the camera. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, what about these ones? I think this might be the right length. Because if the camera moves up and down a little bit, then it has to be, you know, hang down a little more. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, wait. Oh, it's reflect. Never mind. Whoa. It's amazing. That's like thin. Life goals right there. I feel like, oh, that would be a weird pool. Yeah, it's really thin. It's, it's so bad. You fast. know, some people don't like it, but I like it. Oh. MDF. Yeah, MDF. What about this? Oh shit, it's a quarter inch, 0.216, I think that's quarter inch, right? Yeah. It's good that they actually marked for the real thickness. This is all we need, one board. Cool. It's a pretty small thing. This is our electronics box. It's always good to stay organized. Um, so we have all of our electronic components in here. And, uh, yeah, it's organized by, you know, motors, um, four meters, cords, servos. Uh, so I'm just putting away some of our old uh, electronics from the other projects. I'm just trying out a template for the uh, housing. Maybe like two by four inches. Well, you also have to have the camera in there too. All right, because well, this is gonna be somewhere here, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, my screen here. So why do we have two pieces of wood here? Uh, so we have two pieces of wood on the side here for the walls of the housing. And uh, I think actually the two pieces of wood could probably keep the Raspberry Pi centered and we don't really have to 
attach to the Raspberry Pi, uh, you won't have to screw it in, right? You can just let it float in there. Yeah, it'd probably be easier to just do that because we were originally thinking about um, attaching it with these mounting holes, but I think because this camera will be attached, we don't really even need to attach this. And it might be easier to, um, uh, you know, connect it to your computer. Yeah, plus well, it's just unnecessary work to try to screw it in. So. Yeah. This is a drawing of the MDF casing for the camera. It's basically in two uh, major pieces that you can uh, attach together. So this is the base and the camera goes right here. And uh, there will be some uh, nuts glued on the inside of the, these side pieces here and some holes going through. And so the top piece kind of lowers down uh, over this bottom piece and you can screw a screw in there and there's basically a nut on the glued to the other side of this. So this could be a hole uh, for the cable to feed through. You'd have to drill through both sides, or we could maybe try to cut out some slot. So Davis, why don't we use metric bolts for our projects? Because there's a terrible selection at the hardware store for metric. They're all standard. There you have it. That's why we don't use metric. The housing of our camera, it's going to come in two main parts. There's the bottom part, and then there's the top part. The bottom part will be the main piece that holds. So that's 4.24. That should cover the width of this. All right. We're about to cut the MDF. Always make sure to wear the proper protection. Slight blunder on the cut. I you want to show on the. Looks like one of our sides is a little taller there, but I think once it's glued down, it'll be pretty flush. Uh, we can always sand it down. Or dremel it down. Or dremel it down, yeah. But yeah, that's what it's going to look like. So then we have the top here, like that. And then the back goes there. Alright, just an update on what I got going here. My Raspberry Pi 3 is connected to power here. And I have it uh, connected through SSH to my Mac. Um, and right now I am... Uh, installing OpenCV on this thing and it's been going for for like almost eight hours now. All right, so quick update on where I'm at right now with the Raspberry Pi. Um, took about 10 hours to build and compile the code, uh, so quite a while, but uh, it's running now and I have a little demonstration working. So uh, I have a webcam wired up, so if I go to this uh, URL in the browser. It's connected to my Raspberry Pi, and you can see. There, let's see. You can see me. There's my computer. There I am. Um, so yeah, I have a webcam wired up, and I can do facial recognition if I change a parameter here. Okay, and then save that. And if I run this again. And I go back to my stream. So this is now um, using OpenCV to detect faces. And it's a little bit slower. There you go, so there's a blue outline around my face. Day two in the garage, working on the project. What are you doing? Uh, gotta figure out how many holes to drill and where to mount everything. Might be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but... So, so what are you thinking for the mounting? Uh, well, so I just marked four holes on the front um, for where we're going to drill a few holes for the camera. we got to have one more hole in the center for the, um, the lens itself. Uh, but So probably a few screws through there and I need um, some sort of hole for the power cable to go through. Um, whoops, this might be a little tricky. Uh, we might have to drill one hole through here and one hole through here so that we can feed the power cable through both. Status update. We've tried multiple things to mount this camera and it's not going so well. <laughs> First time we tried, uh, we drilled the holes slightly off and the camera didn't fit on there properly. Uh, these screws are also um, way too small. Uh, or like the length is too short 
so we had to uh, drill down a little bit to fit the head of the screw in there. And then on the back, we have kind of these like, what would you call that, David? It's like these a, are like counter bores. Counter bores, yeah, because the camera has this um, square, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a square um, head on it. So it doesn't sit flush with this thing. So it's kind of tricky, but Good see thing what, we're testing it out first. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're drawing the lines on the wooden housing, but in retrospect, uh, this would probably be a lot easier to drill if you did it before gluing it together. We've posted a link to our hackster.io page in the description, which will include uh, written instructions, links to our Python code, and some schematics to help. All right, so I'm just putting the finishing touches on the video and about to um, upload it to YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes video. Um, you know, if it's something uh, you want to see more of, we're definitely open to making more videos. We just want to get um, you guys as much content as we can deliver. Uh, it's just kind of hard to, you know, do everything for the, the project um, because we both have full-time jobs. But let us know if uh, this is more something that you want to see, um, and we'll catch you again next time.